home decor projects. So we're excited about that. Well, Linda, we lost your name, Linda. Here we go. I lost my name. We lost everything. <laughs> I don't know what lost happened. everything. <laughs> as soon as you went live, the things just disappeared. It's like your video will show here, and there's nothing. <laughs> Welcome everybody. <laughs> okay. Well, so I was going to do the intro, but now I'm not doing it. <laughs> yes, we'll just go backwards now. So we'll go backwards. I'm going to, I'm going to, I guess I'll do I'm going to throw this over to you. I didn't pull up the giveaway. So we're giving away. So we, we'd love to say thank you. So please <laughs> leave a comment in the video stream. If you leave a comment, you'll be eligible to win the Autumn Greetings Bundle. We'll be giving away that bundle on our next episode on September 1st. All you have to do is leave a comment on either Tammy's Facebook page, mine, or either of our YouTube channels, and leave it on the original. If you share this video and type the word shared with the D, you'll get a second entry to win that. If you leave a comment during this live video, you will have the ability to win the beautiful autumn stamp set. And we will do that pretty much immediately following this episode. Yeah. And, like, and we have so many awesome things to share with that. Oh my God. Today. And we do need to congratulate uh, Denise Bryant. She won the celebration tidings bundle Yay. from last. You can see me looking like trying to read the title. <laughs> like, oh my God. Um, she won the bundle from uh, last episode. So congratulations. Cool. All right. So with that, we are going to get started. And I am actually going to turn this over to Linda. And she is going to share not only that uh, beautiful autumn stamp set, but the whole bundle, the punches that come with it, and the entire suite that coordinates with it. Yay. And let me find you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I can find you. OK. All right. Bye now. Bye. <laughs> Okay, so the first, so we have an autumn theme going, and the first uh, products that we're going to share are from the Gilded Autumn uh, Suite in the new holiday catalog. We call it the holiday catalog, it'll always be the holiday catalog. Um, so I wanted to go through and show you each of these products close up. So first, we're going to start with the stamp set. This is the beautiful autumn stamp set. We have um, both line um, images as well as the coloring image. So it's two-step stamping. So you can do just the outline or you can color them easily and some great statements and good fonts. We always like good fonts. To coordinate with that in the bundle, we have the, well, let me make sure I say the right name. This is the autumn punch pack. Of course I have it on here. Autumn punch pack and you get an, they, it coordinates with the acorn, the maple leaf, and the oak leaf. So that is the bundle. You can get those together or separately. In addition to the suite, we have the Gilded Autumn Designer Series paper. Move these out of the way. I dropped them on my toe a few minutes ago. I'm gonna try not to repeat that. Okay, pull you out. This is a specialty designer series paper. There is metallic foil in the paper. So this is a, um, you get 12 sheets, two of each. I only have one of each to show you because I've been using it. Um, but you'll get two of each of these sheets and they are double-sided. Like I said, we have foil on one side and the colors are Cajun Craze, Copper Foil, Crumb Cake, Early Espresso, Gold Foil, Mint Macaron, and Very Vanilla. So these are the colors. So this side doesn't have the metallic. And you can see here the all the different metallics there, shiny with the uh, acorns and stuff. And here's the other side. This one's cool. I don't know what this is supposed to represent. It looks like dragon scales. If you were a fan of uh, Game of Thrones, that's kind of what it reminds me of. <laughs> Let me know if you think you know what that is. Maybe petals, like just repetitive petals. You can see the try to show you the sheen, but then hold it still. So make sure you can see the, the detail. And we have a nice stripe. Here we have some fun pumpkins and gourds. The pretty gold. And then this kind of looks like an eggshell. Let me try to see if I can see comments here. There we go. Okay, and then here's another one with the mint, with the leaves, with the foil. Super pretty. And then the... Um, check okay also to coordinate with this we have 
brushed metallic. These are 12 by 12 brushed metallics and we have bronze, copper, and gold. So I'm going with copper, gold, and bronze. But yeah, so I'm, those are the coppers. And then the last fun pieces with this are a basket weave metallic ribbon combo. So this is a basket weave and it's in the mint macaron. And then this is a copper grosgrain ribbon and one eighth. And those are combo pack, they come together. And then last but not least are the acorn trinkets. These are adorable and they're heavy. There's a good weight to them um, in copper. So there's these cute little acorns that you can add to your projects. So those are all the pieces together for the Gilded Autumn Suite. So now Tammy's going to come back and she is going to show you some I'm samples. Back. I was uh, <laughs> reading the comments as you were going and okay. it seems the uh, majority believe that the mysterious print on the designer series uh, paper yes. was a uh, pine cone zoomed in. I so I, I don't know. It kind of looks like that. I'm gonna buy it's that. I'm gonna go with I'll it. That I'm might sticking be it. with my. I'm sticking with my dragon. <laughs> more, more. So fun. I have a bunch of samples uh, to share with you uh, with this suite. So I am going to pull in my screen here, and um, this is just—it's such a beautiful, beautiful suite. So this is uh, the first card here. You can see the designer series paper. We've got the stamp set and. The punches, the stamp set matches the, um, the the punches, the little punches match the stamp set. They also match the um, designer series paper. So there's some paper that has the actual leaves and acorns in it, and they match that as well. Are you showing the card? Is you can't see the cards? That's weird. Okay. I can hear Linda in the background. I know you guys can't. Can you guys see it now? Can you guys see it now? You want me to bring the first one back just in case you guys didn't see that one? Okay. Okay, so this is the first one here. Sorry about that. All right, so this is, um, again, the, the the leaves here that were punched with the, um, the, the little punchy guy there. The little punchies, the three little trios of punchies that match. Again, they match the paper. Okay, now that's card number two. And you can see the different variations really kind of using the same, um, like the, the same general idea here with the words and the designer paper and leaves and, you know, like, but all, each one is different and unique. Each one is really, really pretty in its own. And here is, this is uh, a Z fold. Okay. So here we go with that mysterious print. This is uh this is the one that was in question, right? I think that could be a pine cone for sure. Like I, I see that. Okay, so this is a Z-fold here. It's like a portrait Z-fold, which is a little different than the Z-folds that we, that we normally have. I like this one because it showcases the designer paper. Um, you can see several different patterns here that you uh, use the punch, I mean the die set to, uh, I forget the name of this die set with the scallops. And this, the, um, it's not the rectangle one. I'll come back to it. Anyways, <laughs> was it the postage one? That's real. I like the shape, the rectangle postage. Thank you. I like. I love the shapes of it. They make really good labels. No, Linda's on it. She's in my other ear. I know you guys can't hear her. I know someday we're gonna someday we're gonna get this down, and then all of a sudden, like everything's gonna be great, and we're gonna be able to be in the same room again. <laughs> But it's all good. That stitch so sweetly. Okay, so that the, I'll bring it back out just so uh, you guys can see here. Okay, so it's this one. Stitched so sweetly is the die set that cut the, the scalloped rectangles there. I really like it. And this one, um, I, I created this one with the um, gold note cards and envelopes. So the envelopes are actually like a brushed gold, almost like the brushed gold that uh, Linda shared, a little different, but but really cool. And I've got the brushed um, gold on the background here and then using some of that pretty paper, uh, just a simple one with the acorns on it. But the cool thing about the, uh, the, the, no, the gold cards and envelopes is that the note cards already there. It's got really pretty decorative edging already on it. And it's so easy to do just a simple card here. So if you're making a bunch of cards, they're a great way to go. 
And then here we've got, and this is um, another fun fold here, just to um, see if I can zoom you out just a hair so you can, oops, you can see just a little bit better. There, there we go. <laughs> I have a new I have a new webcam now for the table since we've been using the uh, using different equipment so that we can uh, do this together. So I was like, oh, I think you know the old one just it wasn't cutting it. <laughs> I wanted a better viewing experience for you guys. All right, so this one here, this is another fun label uh, die in the background there. It's got the acorn on here, and then this this pattern of designer series paper. It's got the foil acorns and leaves. These, this acorn and leaf do match the, the punch trio. So you can punch them out um, with the, the punches. I love it when they do that. I love it when the designer paper matches. And this, I believe, okay, I think I'm pretty sure. In fact, I'm, I'm almost positive. The leaves and acorns were punched with the punches out of, uh, out of a different sheet of the designs from that designer paper pack. You could also stamp them because the stamps also look like that as well. But I believe these were punched from the designer series paper. And I, again, love when they do that. And the last one I have to share from this suite right here is, um, this is a gatefold card here, very really cute opening. And I like the, we got that in the background. We've got a little wreath here going. Some of the, some of the uh, leaves were punched out. And then we've got one acorn punched out of the designer series paper on there too. So just another fun thing that you can do with that suite. But wait, we're not done. <laughs> There's more. And uh, Linda's going to come back in now and she is going to actually create a really cool card with this suite. So I'll bring her stamping time. <laughs> <laughs> we need a stamping time music, like our theme, a theme for stamping. Da -da -da. Okay. So let's start. I'm not going to show you what we're making first. We'll see if I can uh, make it the way I designed. So I'm going to start with a piece of crumb cake. I love crumb cake. I use it all year long, but it's a good base for fall. Too. So I'm going to set that here for a second. Let's see. I decide which order do I want to do things in. Let's actually, let's stamp. So what I did, so here is the mini grid paper. And I took all these um, detailed uh, stamps and I lined them up on my grid paper. Um, you can see how they line up kind of in the middle of the grids. So I lined them up and it, on the grids, kind of got them centered and then put the block on top so that they're all um, the same height and the same distance apart. Um, so now what I want to do is I'm going to stamp that on the bottom of my paper and I'm going to stamp it in early espresso. So I get to stamp them all at once. And now I'm sure that they will all be, um, and what I can do even is try and line this up. So lined it up so I can see it's kind of centered. And so I know that this uh, line here is the center. It gives me a better ability to eyeball it as I stamp this here. And so now I get them all at once. Easy peasy. Let's move this out of the way so it's put hand in it. And let's do all stamping first. So I'm going to move that aside. Let's put that over here. I'm going to grab, here's a scrap piece of very vanilla. This is my Piece. I use my stampin' pad and I'm going to use Cajun Craze ink and I am using the My Heart is Grateful for You greeting. Uh, ink that up in the Cajun Craze and I'm going to line that up in the lower kind of right hand side of the um, Card stock. I am then going to grab my new Stampin' Cut and Emboss. I think that's what's called. I call it like 20 different names every time I pick it up. Stampin' Emboss. Cut and Emboss. And emboss. Um, I'm going to use my largest stitch shape uh, square. 
I'm gonna put that down. And I followed, what I love is that it gives you all the sandwiches on all the plates. So I have one, two, th and two threes. Um, so together. And I'm gonna line this up so that the greeting is in the bottom right hand corner. And I'm gonna use my post-it note to hold it the way I want. All right, here's my second three. I'm gonna run this through. It's funny, you can see my watch just showed me a memory of a card I did before. How funny is that? You see a card on my watch. Okay. So pull this out. So here's my greeting. Bring you back in. Okay, so <clears throat> there's two pieces. Now here is this fun paper with the metallics. I'm gonna attach that to a piece of um, Cajun Craze. All the dimensions and the products that we used uh, will be on a downloadable PDF uh, when we are done on both uh, Craft with Stampin' and Stamp with Tammy. Give us you know, a little bit you know, maybe an hour or hour and a half after we are done and we will have that up available to you. All right, so now I'm taking, this is the Forever Greenery Trim Combo Pack. This is the gold kind of thread. And I'm going to take kind of a nice long piece of that. Oops. And cut and I'm gonna tie a bow. A knot and a bow, see if I can here. Uh, true test of nerves is always trying to tie a bow while live. Okay. All right, now let's see a bow. Okay, hold on. I don't want to, don't want to put the bow in yet. Hold on, where did I put them? Oh, gonna grab an acorn. Almost forgot the acorn. Would not surprise me to have to take a project apart. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of twist these. I gotta, the hardest part here is feeding this through. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna tie my acorn, make another knot. Come, 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 come. Okay, let me see how we're doing. Okay. And now the bow. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, I always feel like you get fat fingers while you're trying to do this. They're all in the way. Right, pull this one out. Now we futz with the bow. All right. So what I also want to do, let me trim this a bit. And I'm going to take another one of these uh, before it all comes undone. Hold on. Come on. All right, I'm going to tie this in a knot and let it fray just to add a bit of variation to it if I can. Again, try and do things live. Uh, come on. And concentrate. Yeah, we'll make that work. All right, so I just want that little bit of fray on the card. Okay, so, all right. I'm gonna attach this to my card base with dimensionals. Hold at the same time. Do, do, do. All right. Attach this here. All right. So now I have my greeting. What I want to do is I'm going to punch out these items that match the punches. So here is the maple leaf. Here is the oak leaf. 
and I'm going to get the paper because I want them all in the copper. So what am I looking for? I'm looking for the acorn in copper that's close to the edge. Mm, this one. All right, so there's my three. And to help me do this, I'm going to take a, another post-it. Post-its are your best friend. All right, so that is the acorn. So we're taking the acorn punch. I'm going to slide that in. Line her up. Okay, there's one. Then let's do the maple leaf. Oops, two. And last but not least, last but not least, <laughs> last but not least, the oak leaf. Slide that in. Okay, so there's those punches. And on the back of these, I'm going to attach, as you can see, these small. Uh, the mini dimensionals. Usually I remove the post-its, but I'm not going to take the time right now. Okay, so. The backing. Come on. All right, so one. Oops. Let's see that one. Two. And three, but that's not all because I like that it has my heart. So I grabbed the little dog builder because it's got this cute little round heart. And I got a tiny piece of the bronze, the brushed bronze. I'm just gonna stick that in there, pop it out. And we're gonna put a mini dimensional on that too. Okay, and I want to stick that right where the heart is, the word heart. Now, more dimensionals. We'll get the big ones for this. One, two, three, four. And, oops. Right. I'm gonna put this in this lower corner so you can still appreciate the DSP. There we go. And there you go. So that's my card. And I actually did make it just like I had planned. But I have a few others before we switch back to Tammy that I wanted to show you. So these again feature the Gilded Autumn Suite products. But I have a few others that I wanted to show you. I go, this one features several things from the Gilded Autumn, but we I also use a little coffee cup, I think perk. Um, oh, something about perks. Uh, that's in the back of this, um, the catalog, super cute. And then these use, this is the Autumn Goodness Bundle. That is so cute. Um, so I created two of these. Very simple, and I use the plaid tidings as my color background. And then here is this one. So these are my samples and my projects. Tammy now has a bunch for you to see with her. That was actually a perfect seg because uh, I'm gonna segue right into autumn goodness ideas. So we'll just continue on with that bundle. Uh, I have to say, watching you make that card, <laughs> it was awesome, but learning that chip with the post-it note, that was so <laughs> you know, punching out the little, because I was cutting around it, and the cutting works too, I just cut like a line up next to the yeah. one I want to punch, but the post-it note, that was genius. Post-it you know, note, that's your best part. Part. That's what been scoop show before. There you go. <laughs> All right, so let's have some fun checking out some more of these awesome fall ideas. These are all from the new, this is the Stampin' Up! Uh, 
it's called the August to December 2020 mini catalog. There you go, you can see the name now. Um, but we just like to call it the holiday mini catalog because it'll always be the holiday mini catalog to us. Okay, so this is uh, continuing on with autumn goodness stamps. That's from that, auto, I mean, samples from that autumn goodness bundle that needed to ship. Oh, what does everyone on the ground? Sorry. Using some of that Gilded Autumn Designer Series paper on this one too. So pretty. And this one, I love, I love the way she did. It's like a book fold here with this one. So when you open it like this, you've got a little book fold. And then she's got like a binding on the book fold on the card. You know, it's very, very cute. Okay, so moving into uh, another new Autumn set. We're going to call them Autumn sets because they're all named Autumn. <laughs> We had beautiful autumn. We just did autumn goodness, and now we have. Let's see if you can see that uh, the autumn greetings bundle, and this one's got a. It's got a really nice big old image. Uh, it's line art image, but it's it's big and it's beautiful on the card. It's this one here, um, but then it's also got some smaller um, pieces to it that are just fantastic for just about any uh, fall themed card that you have. All right, Jeannie says she thinks this is the best catalog in a long time. I have to agree, right? I'm, I'm like so in love with all of these, these sets. And I love fall. I mean, I love doing Halloween and stuff. We will have a Halloween episode. So here's some of the smaller pieces. So the big stamp, she did the big stamp on the background here and then did the, the pumpkin with designer series paper, if you can see that. And then the outline here is the gold foil. And that outline is the die that's in the set. And then one last one with the Autumn Greetings Bundle. Again, these two, there's, it's layered. It might be hard to see that they're layered on the video, but the pumpkin there is layered and it's the die. There's um, a pumpkin die and then there's the outline die that goes over it. And I love this little wheelbarrow. Okay, so moving on to more fall themed. This is the Love of Leafs Bundle. You'll find that on page 49. If you do not have one of these awesome best catalog ever mini catalogs, um, be sure to contact either Linda or myself at craftystampin.com or at stampwithtammy.com. Um, and we both have catalog pages. Click it, fill out the form, and we'll be happy to send one to you. So here, um, this bundle has the stamps that stamp these flowers, but then the die it's called the stitched leaves die. Now this is another sample. I know I'm, I'm putting it on top here, but I want you to see the stitching inside the leaf. You can do it. That's actually a separate piece. You can actually die cut the leaves solid, or you can put that in there to give it a little bit of um, oomph. But here's a cool thing. After you cut out the leaf, they're stitching around. Um, you know, if you, if you were just using scrap paper, I guess this would go to waste. But if you were, doing like a window card or something with it like this one is, you've got beautiful stitching around the uh, flower that was cut out. And if you are in my VIP club or in my Stamp It group, um, the Love of Leaves bundle was the bundle that um, our uh, VIP classes this month. So you'll find that on the VIP website and some ideas with that one. So here's another one stamped and then uh, cut out the leaves. But then in the background, you can see the inverse, the reverse, is that inverse or reverse? Uh, cut there so you can see the stitching around the outline of that one. I love this. I love, love, love this card. And this one here, uh, again, this is uh, stamped. The leaves are all stamped in the background. And then there's one leaf here that was, uh, looks like it was a little sponge jobber to give it the two-tone effect there with Cajun craze and pumpkin pie. And then this leaf on top was cut out. And here we've got, um, like, I like this one because it kind of shows both. I don't know if this shows as well. Let me see if I can um, maybe turn this down a little. There we go. Oh, that's so much better. So much better. I'm, I'm learning. <laughs> got a new camera. Okay, so um, here you can see that the, the pumpkin pie panel was, the leaf was cut out of it. So it's um, almost like a window here. But then the same leaf was punched, I mean, die cut, these are die cut, die cut in uh, rich razzleberry. 
And so it fits perfectly, obviously, in that window. So you can see the two-tone effect there. Very cool effect on that one. Oh, sorry, not quite done with that. Here's another one just uh, simple here, just using the um, inverse of the, the cut. So you could actually cut out the leaves, make put them in one card, and then make like a reverse card with that uh, the, the window here. So you have nothing to go to waste. I hate to waste anything, right? Got to use all the pieces. And one last card sample here. I, I know we went over the 20 that uh, we we <laughs> we advertised 20, but I know we went way over that. Always, always like have more than we than we realize when we get into the show. But these are awesome, right? Such great cards. These came from a recent uh, Stampin' Demonstrator group swap. Actually, we had um, some other demonstrators and um, some of my uh, advisory board uh, sisters had created some of these swap cards as well. But absolutely beautiful ideas. This one here has got. I like the way it opens here because there's a little peekaboo of the plaid designer paper on that that you can see. All right. So with that, I'm going to bring Linda back in here. Let's see if I can. <laughs> there we go. Woohoo! All yeah. right. So that was a fun show, right? You got to love the fall ideas. I'm, I'm ready for fall now. I need a sweater, some pumpkin spice, something ready to go. <laughs> Normally I am. Normally I am ready for fall, but I don't know. I, you know, I've just picked up wakeboarding again after 20 years <laughs> at the end of August. Who does this at the end of August? I've got like two weeks left before that, you know, <laughs> things start to freeze. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to like hurry up and <laughs> get last second in. So yeah, I'm not quite ready. I need a couple more weeks of summer before we... Uh... <laughs> All right. Well, thank you all for joining us today. I hope that you have enjoyed all of these ideas and Linda's beautiful card. And don't forget to leave a comment so that you can be entered to win our uh, giveaways. All right. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Thank you.